Hi, in this video, I'm going to explain the different parts of the dashboard. So first, you simply I'm going to enumerate and show what they do, not to explain what they do, but uh, yeah, show it. So talking about these areas that can be changed, can be configured at these areas, but this one is uh, an instant messenger to communicate with other agents. This one is a task manager that has, as you can see, classifications. When you when you add a new task, uh, you can classify for phone call or charge or meeting or other or or task itself. And um, by the way, when they have uh, when they have a dispute or they are linked to a client, you can go directly to the client or go to the dispute center. And obviously, this is the date of the task, and this is uh, the time. Well, again, and this is linked to the uh, super calendar here. Okay, super calendar is linked. So this one only shows the one uh, up to today, and this one shows the one uh, all all the tasks, even the ones of the future. And this one is a graphic where you can know your affiliates, how many inactive clients, active, etc. All this is configurable in the config uh, button here, okay? Probably the most important button are these two. Dashboard to come back to the dashboard from anywhere in the program, come back here, and the tutorials button where it's going to show um, either, it's going to show all the help or is going to show the context um, related help. For example, here in the contact list area, if we click the tutorials, we're going to see only the ones related to the contact list. Not every part is like that yet, but many are. Okay, so again, you have tutorials everywhere and dashboard to come back. All right, uh, this um, um, button to go to the contact list. This one to go to the super calendar, which again uh, is uh, is the one that will contain future and past uh, events, and you can. Uh, but having the calendar is not enough. I mean, that is that's why we have uh, the task manager right here. So you can uh, see the ones that are due at this moment. Uh, this one goes to the email system. This one allows you to download the emails. Emails that are pending to download will be downloaded. So for example, if you um, you are expecting an email from a client and you want to kind of a force that will be downloaded because when you go to the dashboard, the emails are downloaded automatically. But let's say that you want to force it, and then you can click here. And also, we have it in other places of the program, like this one, like the contact list, download emails. So you can do it from this one to force. And if you are expecting some documents, etc., so you can force the download of emails. Uh, then this one is to go to the template manager. This one is to set up your automatic emails. Okay, your automatic emails, just read and you can edit the email if you want. Um, then uh, we have the, the invoice system, uh, the marketing campaigns, automatic emails, as I said, virtual funnels, show stats, which essentially, if you click with shift, it's going to show the pie, if you click with shift control, it's going to show the bar graph, or if you click normally, it's going to ask you for a bar graph and so for the pie, we have this one. The pie is only in percentages, okay? Um, so, but but again, you can uh, access that with um, with a shift for pie graph or shift control for for the bar. The bar you have here, or you may have something different. That depends on the configuration that you can change here. And this is a calculator uh, right here, right, that you can use. Um, simple things, of course. I mean, this is just a, 
um, very basic calculator. Uh, here we'll take you to the support center, so we can so you can send us a support ticket, or even see all the videos. But presumably all the main videos are here in the tutorial. Uh, here is this uh, shortcuts, shortcuts, and you can have you can set up these shortcuts that will take you to a link to a URL here in the menu, my settings, settings and shortcut settings, okay? Then this is an area, well, this is to log out, obviously, and this is an area, so it's a new area, where you can have, it's like a, it's like a super shortcuts, if you will. It might web links, so you can have unlimited uh, web links. So essentially, um, you can edit in this case, and you can have a username and password. These are not secure, so don't trust these. Only use a username and passwords when you are sure that it is not important the access to that. You may have other employees that have access to this, so so you don't want to do that. You can use yes the yes the link, and then your cookies will take care of your username and password. But sometimes things that are not important can be useful to have. A username and password here and then you can click the C button to copy this as needed like to enter the username and password you can delete it or save okay so we're going to um, uh, go back to the dashboard and here we have many things uh, one of the things obviously is uh, here, the agents, event list, is, this is for the tasks, or go to the super calendar. It's kind of a repetition, or go to the contact list. So this is kind of a repetition. Um, email system, again, is a repetition. Uh, finance, the invoice system, a repetition also. But remember that this will be available from other places in the program. So it might be useful. Uh, the marketing, automatic emails, com marketing campaigns, template manager, or build funnels. Uh, so duplication from the buttons and uh, my settings these are AP, API keys um, control panel my profile you may not have some of these uh, because um, some some of these are only for us you may not have them even if you see them here uh, you might not have them but here you can set up the authorized on net charge B digital checks fax settings letter stream probably a phone settings, a shortcut settings, a SMS studio settings, time zone settings, and Zapier settings. Okay, so you have all that in the in my settings. Support again will go to it's a duplication to the support cent center, and this one you don't have uh, this uh, this uh, option. And uh, so essentially that's all. Here we have at the bottom. Uh, an interactive overview, interactive overview of the program. So it will be a nice thing to do uh, when you use the program for the first time, okay? Uh, so this is, uh, and the rest, again, is simply, well, uh, this, these links are, speak by themselves. So Facebook group and free email templates, uh, free landing pages in case uh, uh, you want to use them these are uh, links that we provide we, we don't make money by the way in, in any of these so it's just simply as a service and um, that also you can refer as clients and, and make money with that uh, so that's it this is pretty much all the basic things in um, uh, on the dashboard so uh, thank you